Hi, thank you so much for your interest in our research and evaluation methods program. I just want to give you a little bit of background about all of our different offerings, who we are, and what we train you to do. So we're situated in the School of Education and Human Development, which means that we definitely work with people who are interested in educational research and people who are interested in kind of more family and human development research. But we also have kind of this broader realm of anything in the social sciences. Our students come from lots of different backgrounds and want to study lots of different contexts. And that's really what we do is we help you figure out how to research and evaluate any problem that you have in your life or anything that you are curious about. Um, I had one student say that she wanted to research everything from how to save the bees to how to use Dungeons and Dragons to support social emotional learning for autistic students, which ended up being her dissertation. Um, so we are a very broad range of offerings and what it is that we teach you. So I want to start off talking about who our graduates are to kind of give you an idea of some careers that you might get into. Master's graduates um, are definitely all over the place. Um, so we have people who are in McCrell, which is an educational research focused um, organization. We have people in research offices in school districts, assessment offices at universities. Um, they are research assistants in all kinds of different places, including ECE programs, nonprofit organizations, lots of nonprofit organizations, including mental health aspects, um, they're at universities in our internal review board, in institutional research offices. We have people in the Department of Education, the Colorado Department of Education, also in other government offices, including the New Jersey Center for Family Services. They are faculty in other programs, including um, medical and, again, those mental health concepts. And then some of our master students definitely become doc students with us or other places. You'll see the PhD graduates are very similar in their degrees or in their um, current careers, but they tend to start in more leadership positions where a master's students start in more entry level, entry mid level positions. So we have research directors at Hanover Research, which is a massive research organization working with organizations, companies, and definitely an education aspect. Um, we have one that created her own nonprofit assessment office specifically for special ed screening. We have people in institutional research. We have people at the Colorado Department of Education in director positions. We definitely have deans in teacher evaluation pro or education programs. We have faculty. Um, some are research directors in museums. We have a lot of museum settings. Um, and then we also have foundations that they are leadership in foundations. So I want to give you a quick overview of all of the different aspects and pathways that you can take within our program. Um, so we have certificates, we have a master's, and we have a doc. Our certificates are four courses each. We currently have four and we have two that are coming soon and should be up and running very shortly. So we, you can come and take four courses to get more advanced quantitative knowledge with our statistical modeling. That would include structural equation modeling, hierarchy and linear modeling, things like that. Applied measurement is focused on creating, validating, and establishing measures. So that gets into classical test theory and item response theory. Program evaluation um, gets really in depth with how do we design programs, evaluations, what are different theories and approaches to evaluation, and how do we apply all of these different methods. We have a classroom assessment, um, also called action research, which is really geared towards teachers who are trying to study your own practice and use assessments in much deeper and better ways. And then again, coming soon, we have qualitative, where you can get into advanced qualitative methods and culturally responsive um, research and evaluation, where you can get into examining the influence of culture, social justice, critical studies, and DEI, specifically on the methods that we are using. So each one of those is four courses, um, and they can be stacked together into a master's. They can You can get a master's and a certificate. You can get a doc and a certificate, and we get to kind of double dip some of those some of these courses within the formal degrees. Our master's has two pathways. We have a traditional pathway, which gives you really good overviews in introductions to research, introductions to program evaluation, introductions to measurement concepts. Um, you take an intermediate statistics and you take qualitative inquiry to get all of the analysis stuff that you need. And then you get electives where you get to kind of tailor 
your career goals into what you're interested in learning more about. And all of that culminates in a research experience, um, which could be a thesis, but typically is more of a personal project, research experience, or a practicum, which is typically an internship. We also have the certificate pathway to a master's. Um, the concept within this is it's sort of like an advanced study within the master's. So you get to kind of specialize with those electives um, and you're taking some of the intro courses, but you're specializing in statistics, measurement, evaluation, or assessment. And then of course we do have a PhD. Um, so whereas the master's is 15, I'm sorry, 10 courses each, the PhD is 15 courses and then 30 dissertation credits. PhDs are typically two and a half to three years for coursework, depending on how fast you wanna go. And then about a year to two years, depending on how you design your dissertation. But the difference is, is our PhD candidates are experts in everything. So whereas our master's gives you an introduction to these four ideas, our PhDs really spend the time um, and energy with us to go a lot deeper. So they become an expert in methodologies, quant, qual, mixed. They become an expert in analysis. Again, quantitative, qualitative, and mixed techniques. You become an expert in measurement. How do we create surveys, psychometrics, getting into the different um, techniques within classical test theory and item response theory. And then the same with evaluation. So you understand the different theories and approaches, design and applications. This program also includes teaching experiences, specifically in our REM field, and a lot more research and evaluation experience, truly trying to build that resume. So a few things that you can definitely expect from us. Um, we work really, really hard to create exceptional online classes. We try to embed practical experiences and resume building experiences within those courses. And these courses truly are focused on applied techniques so yes, all of the statistics specifically will, are going to be math-based, but we focus more on the application of the math. We're not trying to create new mathematical models. Um, so it's much more an applied pathway. We also provide tailored advice and course plans that are really geared towards what you want to do in your career. So we'll look at jobs and careers that you want. We'll provide a lot of advice on that, hopefully letters of reference um, as we get to know you. And we really truly try to gear everything towards the path that you are wanting to take. There is also, again, potential, regardless of if you are a certificate, master's or PhD, to collaborate on research projects with us or our other faculty or our community partners or our other partners for interns. Um, and again, potential teaching experiences, depending on the pathway and where you're trying to go with your career.